fridge is almost empty, it's time to go to the grocery store. And today I'm taking you guys with me in a grocery shopping trip. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is April, a Filipina mom here in Israel. I love watching other people's grocery hauls, so I thought I'd share mine with you too. I'm going to show you what we usually buy in the supermarket and at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much we spent. First, let's talk about my grocery list. I like to make a list before I go to the store to make sure that I don't forget anything. I also try to plan out our meals for the week so I know exactly what ingredients I need. Let's get started. Drive safe. So we are here parked outside the supermarket and it's about 14 kilometers away from our place about 20 minutes drive and I love going to this supermarket because first it's cheaper than most of the supermarkets here and it has lots of parking which if you live in Israel you know that that's a real deal and they have a super easy self-checkout option so I don't have to wait up in the long counter in the cashier just to pay I'm so excited to show you guys how I do it here, so let's go! And of course, let's not forget our reusable shopping bags. Now, let's head into the store. The first thing I do is grab a shopping cart. We just need to deposit 10 shekels in that little hole in there to get the cart. The self-checkout scanners are just over here, so I'm gonna go and grab one of these. These handheld scanners make the shopping experience a breeze. At first, I was kind of overwhelmed because everything is written in Hebrew, but then I get the hang of it. Alright, so here's how it works. First, I need to scan the card I took using the barcode scanner. Grocery shopping for me is at least an enjoyable thing. My husband, Tomer, hates going to the groceries. He'd rather do online deliveries. But for me, I wouldn't mind spending two hours or even more in grocery shopping. In the supermarket, they usually put the items with good deals close to the entrance, so I usually check them out first. Then I will need to scan my items using the barcode scanner. The scanner beeps every time I scan an item, and it shows how much it costs. And after that, I can put them away straight to my bags. Then I work my way through the aisle. I like to start with the fresh produce section and get some fresh fruits and vegetables. I remember the first time I went to the supermarket here alone. It was so overwhelming for me not knowing how to read labels in Hebrew. But after a while, I got familiar with the items I usually buy and, of course, my Hebrew has gotten a bit better since then. I'm going to keep scanning my items and bagging them up as I go. Most of the unpacked vegetables don't have a barcode, so we'll need to head to one of these weighing screens. So we just need to weigh them in this scale. Choose what item is it from the screen. And there you go, it will then give you the label that shows the price of that item. Okay, so now that I've scanned all my items, it's time to pay. 
We're gonna head over to the self-checkout area and place the cart on one of these cart scales that check if we haven't missed a product with barcodes. Oops, I forgot to scan two items. An assistant right here helped me check which items I forgot to scan. Hmm, turns out I forget to scan the Bulgarian cheese and I scanned the wrong code for the bag of carrots. Once everything is good, it will then show you how much you need to pay. Then I head over to one of these counters. I will then give the scanner to the cashier. This will help them know how much I need to pay. I usually pay using a wallet app on my phone for cash cash transaction. Fast and easy. It's grocery haul time. These are the groceries we bought. I'm going to be showing you how much these items cost right now as I unpack these groceries. Here we got some cornflakes, chocolate flavored cornflakes, cherry tomatoes, apples, turnip, carrots, eggplants, tomatoes, onions, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, Sweet potatoes, grapes, sweet mini peppers, mushrooms, coriander, spinach, green onions, celery, avocados, lettuce, garlic, two bottles of canola oil, roasted seaweed sheets, cabbage, a bag of oranges, a can of olives, a can of sweet corn, cookie snacks, Six cans of crushed tomatoes, four cans of coconut milk, chocolate powder that the kids love, laundry detergent powder, these wipes for cleaning and disinfection, of course rice. In regular supermarkets here, the most amount of quantity you can find is only 5 kilos. Actually, most of the time they're only selling 1 kilo per pack of rice. That's definitely not enough for an Asian like me. And these are 90 bags of trash bags. I love this brand imported from the States because they're so durable. This is like a 3 month supply for us. Also these kitchen towels are my favorite. Another cookie snacks. Milk. Bulgarian cheese. Chicken. Beef. And lastly because I shopped on a holiday here called Pesach, we have to take this traditional unleavened bread called matzah. And this is the total amount we paid. And that's it! 
I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me in this grocery trip and perhaps gave you an idea of how much groceries cost here in Israel. With that being said, is it significantly cheaper or more expensive than where you live right now? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell button so you'll be updated every time I upload a new one. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!